I am just about lost for words. Me, who talks non-stop, just about lost for words. Take one Traxxas Rally, fit one 6S armor power plant in it and thrash the hell out of it around the yard on the plastic drive shafts. They're just gonna snap to pieces, aren't they? Or not. This car is still running the original plastic drive shafts. And bear in mind, this car on the original power plant is designed to run on just 2S. Yours truly, 6S armor power plant in here. I'm, I'm speechless. Anyway, I'll, I'll put you onto the first intro I shot for this thing. Here, and this is the Traxxas Success Rally. We've got Success Armor Power on board here. This is part two of my shakedown. You're going to see me talk through all the mods I've made since I fit those metal drive shafts, which turn out to be just like butter, shredded themselves. But the first thing being, while well, you're going to see this car run on Success in this video, on Success Armor Power, in the meantime, from Traxxas, I've got a new Max 4S ESC and motor which to my mind I should fit in the rally. I would like to see them do a 4S rally or a 4S slash. Should I fit them in there? Have your say in the comment section right now. But in this video, I'll tell you what you're gonna see. You're gonna see this car running at the end on all of the mods, including the plastic drive shafts again. And you will be surprised at how much punishment I'm gonna put them through at the end of this video. But first of all, I'm gonna talk you through what mods I've done to the car, because I've done quite a few since fitting and getting rid of those cheap and nasty metal drive shafts. So, let me get straight down to it, but do not forget to have your say as to whether I should fit that 4S Traxxas Power to the rally. Okay, when it comes to the Traxxas rally, what have I got planned? Well, the first thing being, removing those slightly iffy metal drive shafts, fitting the plastic ones back on for a minute, just so it's drivable, because at the same time, I'm also gonna be fitting the front and rear sway bars, as stiff as can be at both ends. Gonna be refitting the Spectrum ABC receiver, hence the transmitter over there. So I've got the ABC to help me keep the power of the car under control. I'm gonna be replacing the hot racing 70 mil hexes and putting these original Traxxas ones back on to go with the drive shafts. Uh, a few of you guys have commented out there as to what drive shafts I should fit to the car. And after much thought, I've decided to put a full set of MIP X Duty drive shafts on order, which should be here tomorrow. Anyway, let me fit this lot and then show you how the car handles. Now, these things are sent to testers. Due to the way the pin has ripped through at the point that it hacks, I'm going to have to get the Dremel grinder and cut this off because it won't pull back through the bearing. I'm nearly done swapping the drive shafts over, but just check out this front one, which is also sheared off completely with the power on the inside. Okay, plastic drive shafts back in, Traxxas hexes back on. Time to swap that receiver out for this Spectrum one. Well, just the sway bars to fit, ABC back installed on the car and hopefully going to keep things under control. Now the hot racing sway bar kit comes with absolutely no instructions whatsoever but yours truly has fitted one of them to its previous slash. As my memory recalls there are some mounting points under here, two of them at the front there and two of them at the rear which this screw goes into. So the shorter one is going to go on the front, the longer one it's going to go on the rear. And if anybody is wanting to do the same job, the sway bars just fit on the inside here at the front and the same there at the and rear. So at this point, if you've got a Traxxas and you've always wondered what those two empty screw holes there were for and the two empty ones on that slot there were for, they'd be fitting the sway bars then. Okay, pretty much ready to roll. Front sway bar kit on, rear sway bar kit on. So let's go outside and test it. The only thing I've got to do is fit those new uprated springs when they come in from Amazon. Okay, well to any doubters out there, we've got a uh, graphene battery, 5,000 milliamp, 6S, 100 T rated pack in it. So body on, let's go. So, plastic, Traxxas, absolute junk, eh? Yeah, sure. Now at this point, folks, I would point out that while this is a Traxxas car running on 6S armor power, it has still got the stock plastic drive shafts on here. So anybody that goes on to me about plastic Traxxas stuff not being any good, 
6S power, think again. I would challenge anyone out there to put 6S armor power through a 3S armor plastic drive shaft and see if it substands up and see if it stands up or yours truly is about to put it through because I very much doubt it would do. These things are unbelievable. I have some MIP drive shafts on order. I'm wondering if actually needs as well as them. Anyway, keep watching, see what you think, because this thing, success, plastic drive shafts, it's unreal. To say, people, I'm a bit limited in where I can uh, go out to at the minute. Or oh, I could go out further the field, but. I think money stronger brakes, but other than that, oh, mama. Direction supremely well. Ooh, and that tracks is tough. I'm gonna stop it into anything too badly like that tree, Rich, otherwise you ain't gonna be spared for it for a while. But the acceleration on, I think, absolutely furious. Jesus. I will try and go out and test it in somewhere a bit bigger, guys. But I think, Jesus, it's wanting to wheelie. Traxxas Rally wanting to wheelie. Full, anyway, full board six acceleration test with plastic drive shafts. And they're still in one piece. It is just plain. I mean, use that rich expression. It, Jesus, it's just bonkers around here. Way too much power. Makes the infraction look tame, I have to say. Under 8S, this thing is going to be just monstrous. Acceleration. It's just... Now, just taking a pause for breath, the one thing I would say is you can smell those Downs uh, Deboots tyres burning on the tarmac on it. It is genuine wheel smoke coming off this thing today. Very easy, but surprisingly tractable, even at low speed on air. But once you give it its head of steam, it is just blisteringly quick. It could definitely do with the braking, could definitely do with being better. The braking is not great on air at the minute at all, but acceleration, even on 6S, it's just plain bonkers. And it's got that great rally chuckability to it, for sure. Whoa. Now you will know, the front Richie has got the front now. The one thing I will say, if anybody's been watching the, the videos of this car, you will know the front bumper is now sitting nice, yet under full braking, it's not chattering at all. Just shows you what fun you can have in a small space when you have to. Under 8S, this thing is gonna be absolutely ferocious. In fact, I think it'll give the infraction a run for its money. Just, just ticking around, ticking around, ticking around. Full throttle. Acceleration, just simply ballistic. Oh, nearly managed to save that. On that note, gentlemen, while the body is still in reasonably good order, it's on to the next video. What do we think? Do I fit that Traxxas 4S power? I feel I should do just to give the car a chance and to show Traxxas what potential they could have with a 4S rally if they were going to launch three or four new cars this year. Who knows? But with the coronavirus, who knows? Anyway, guys, keep you, yourself and your families safe out there. And if you like this video, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.